What's up, man? Yeah, yeah. So I'm actually asking the public uh, two very easy questions to okay. see if they're honest and open-minded. Would you say you're an honest and open-minded person? I would say honest, open-minded, not so much. But not so I'm much trying. open-minded? All right, so you try. So from one to 10, how open-minded would you say you are? I would say like a six. Oh, so you're still, you're still open then. You're yeah. still more than average, right? Yeah. Okay. All right, cool. So two very easy questions. The second one being easier than the first, okay. right? So I have two images here. Yeah. And the reason I call them images is because one of them is actually a photograph and the other one's a painting. Okay. So I want you to if I see if you could tell which one's a one's photograph. A painting? And one's a photograph. I feel like you're lying to me. I feel like they're both photographs. What's your final answer? They both look like photographs. Photographs? That's your final answer? Yeah. Alright. So you almost got it. It is a trick question, but they're both paintings. Really? Yeah, so this one's an oil painting and this is a digital painting on an iPad. There's actually a time lapse video of this one being done, That's so you can look crazy. it up online. So the point is, there's two reasons why I asked this question first, is because just believing someone opens the door to being deceived, right? Mm -hmm. But you didn't believe me, but you went with your own judgment, but the yeah. images actually fooled you. Yeah. Which leads me to my second point. If you want to prove something is real, an image is not good enough, right? Because mm -hmm. paintings can be really realistic now and now with Photoshop, right? Yeah. Especially if an image defies physics, right? If I showed you an elephant flying, right, in an image, will you believe that image? No, right? What if I showed you a video of an elephant flying? Would you believe elephants can fly? Probably. No, right? Because it defies physics, right? Yeah. So this next one, it's elementary physics. So I can't lie to you. It's about water. So how would you describe the surface of water? The surface? The surface. Because water always levels out. What does that mean in, in your... If it's still, yeah. Yeah, it levels out, right? If it's still, right? Well, how would you describe that uh, water leveling out? Right? Horizontal, right, will be the proper term because no matter how I tilt the bottle, again, it always evens out, levels out, or yeah. forms a horizontal line, right? So since we understand the physics of water, right, and what level means, again, this one's very easy. Which one of these two is correct, A or B? It's elementary. Water? Yeah, exactly. I would, I would say A, but right. I feel like I'm getting tricked again. No, 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 it's obvious. I'm not trying to trick okay. you. This is physics. Okay. Unless you think, you know, can physics could change, right? Okay. Physics, you know, less the laws of physics. So what if I was to tell you, though, that you actually believe the answer is B, even though we know it's A, because I did too, and that's the reason why I'm doing this. You want to know why? So Do you believe what you're doing. Oh, I'm actually, I'm actually about to explain this to him. If you guys want to... Okay, you so let me start off. Fine. Yeah, so, okay, so I started off with the first question with him. I have a photograph and a painting here, and I want to see if people can tell the, the difference. So the question okay. is, are you honest and open-minded? Ooh, okay. Uh, would you guys say you guys are open-minded, or, or would you guys say you guys are pretty close-minded? Oh, I say, well, it depends on what it is. So w w would you be open like, to having your views like about religion? reality or life like uh, questioned? Religion? Religion. Yeah, religion kind of. Would you say uh, like are you, I would say that religious people are not open-minded. Yeah, truth, truth is very narrow. exactly. It's I would yeah. think it's personal. You know, very subjective. Yeah. Exactly. So I would say if you the go that way, you're itself. exactly. You will be open-minded in my opinion if you're not picking one religion. Yeah. You get what yeah. I'm saying? So you guys would say you guys are open-minded, right? You guys are open to having your your views challenged, right? If, yeah. Especially when if we're talking about science, right? Well, like it's good to have an open mind. Right. Yeah. Right. right. That doesn't no, 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 but what I'm saying is, well, you're open to having your views challenged, though, right? That's having an open mind, like, yeah. it's, it's, a, it's about growing, too, you know? So, yeah. really quick, so, one of these ones is a photograph, and one of them is a painting. I want to see if, if people oh, can Oh, I love that. Okay, wow. So, which okay. one's a photograph, which one's a painting? Let's see. This kind of looks like a painting, and that looks like a photograph, but I could be wrong. Okay. Uh, what do you think? I would agree. Yeah, yeah? okay. It's hard so, to tell though. Yeah. No, yeah, it's actually a trick question. They're actually yeah. both paintings. Oh, so okay. I was just telling him that this one's an oil painting and this is a digital painting done on an yeah, iPad. I was gonna say digital, yeah, an oil. Okay. But they're I both they're both yeah, fake though. They're not photographs, yeah. they're both fake. That's my point. So okay. the point I, I asked this the, the reason why I asked this question first is because just believing someone opens the door to being deceived, right? Because you guys believe me that one of them was a photograph, that influenced your choice, oh, right? That's a good example, yeah. yes. Yeah. Another yes. thing about this question is that if you want to prove something is real, an image is not good enough, right? Because images can be fake, right? If I showed you an image of a flying elephant, would you believe an elephant can fly? No, right? No. What if I showed? <laughs> yeah, especially if I showed. What if I showed you a video of a realistic elephant flying, right? You won't believe that because that defies physics, right? Yeah. So we're going to physics now. I was just asking him. Water always finds its level, right? Would you agree or disagree? Once, once it's still and, and, and you know takes the shape of the container, the surface yeah. always finds. How would you describe the surface? Uh, how, what would be the definition of level? If, it, if water always finds its level. Level, uh, it would be perpendicular. Perpendic per could we say perpendicular to the, ho uh, to the vertical, right? 90 degrees? Well, actually it would be um, horizontal to planet Earth. No, no, well, I'm talking about to the vertical, a vertical yeah, line. Yeah, perpendicular yeah, to perpendicular the vertical, to 90 the degrees, right? Horizontal, could we say? Could we say that the surface of water is horizontal, right? The physics. So, 
All right, so very easy. Oh, it's right here. Since we understand the physics of water, right? Which one of these two is correct, A or B? Hmm. Again, physics doesn't lie, you know. Physics is what it is. Yeah, technically, if you consider the um, curvature of the Earth, then B would be correct. So which one, which one, if we were to, so look at the measurements. Mm -hmm. He said B. You, you think okay. B? Okay. You, you, yeah, this is technically B. level, right? But then. <laughs> so which one would you go with if we were to actually build a level structure over a lake that was three miles across? Which B one represents still, level? Because a lake and everything. I in real reality. I'd say B though, because it's a lake. If you had to pick, a like if, if your life, I don't want to say your life depended on it, but if you had to like really go with your judgment, B. which one would you go with? Oh, you okay, most people would go with A, right? You, which one would you go with? Go I said A, but I felt B. Was yeah, right. All right. Okay, yeah. but so, okay. So he already um, had picked A, but you kind of like because um, the reason I'm doing this is because uh, obviously you guys believe the Earth is a ball, right? Right. Yeah. So that's where I was leading to. So they tell us that the Earth has a certain circumference, right? NASA, because they claim to go to space, right? So they have satellites supposedly orbiting the Earth, right? So they need to know the radius of orbit. So they technically need to know the size of the Earth because they're supposedly going around it. Yeah, so that exactly. So it tells us that the radius is 3959, which gives us a circumference of 24,901 miles, which means there should be curvature at every mile. So the first mile, there should be an eight inch drop. Second mile, 32 inches. Third mile, 72 inches. So basically every mile it increases because it's not a slope, it's a curve, right? So basically this experiment, in my opinion, would debunk the globe because if we were to actually build the level structure over a body of water, if the earth is truly a globe, then we should be able to measure that curvature. Six feet in three miles. So am I right? No, but that's the thing. In reality though, if we were to actually build it, I, this would be the correct answer. That's what level means, horizontal. So it'll be parallel to the level structure. Yeah, but there won't be an... Yeah, that's if you just believe. So if I was to ask you guys, what's the number one proof that convinces you that the Earth is a globe? And you too, you know, if I may ask you guys. What's the number one proof that convinces you that the Earth is a globe? The shadow on the moon. The shadow on the moon? Would you say that? What, what would yeah. you convince you? Yeah, shadow yeah, on the moon? That's a pretty good one. And okay. Everything else we look at, the sun, the moon, okay. everything is spherical. Okay, so. so first thing about the I would say about that, I would say it's a red herring, which is me. All right, no problem. So I would say it's a red herring because I would say it's a false argument. In other words, because looking at the sky doesn't basically tell us anything measurable about the Earth. But what about the air? You can't measure the air and you can't see it, well, you but could, without it you can't breathe, you can't right. live. Right, so the air, there so is air pressure, we can actually that, measure it in a tank. You, the air you, 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 you get an air pressure tank and you put a lot of air in it and you can measure the air pressure. But, but you can't see it, but you believe but you in could, it. No, I don't believe in it, I know it exists because we could use it practically. So that's like big, like big faith you have, like, no i don't have faith, faith. Uh, air pressure exists we use it uh, like mechanics use it because you without it you can't you can't live. but I, I i don't i don't have faith in it i know it exists that's my how thing how do you know it because who we can you? measure with it but who told you nobody told me i can i breathe it <laughs> i feel it when i move my hand <laughs> so i don't need to believe you anyone to be a creator though, right? yeah exactly so that's my point i'm, I'm so out here created it? nobody knows that's my point the globe no, earth somebody does know so how do you know how do you know somebody knows God told me because he saved my life. Oh, really? Okay, well, I would say that's a subjective experience. Because I'm a survivor of suicide and he saved oh, my life. Okay, I'm glad, I'm glad. But I would say that you had a personal experience, which I'm not so denying is true. So there is a higher for power. God to love the world that he gave his one yeah. and only that's where faith comes into play. Really no, right, right. right. We, we may not understand true. where Turn electrons go when they seem to disappear head. when you look at I, I would agree with that when it comes yeah. to the metaphysical, right? When it comes yeah. to the subjective, you and know, the soul, so. right? That's where faith comes But when, it, when we're talking about yeah. physics, though, I don't need to place faith that a rock has a certain weight and so, a feather has a certain weight. So it, it is what it is. So water being level is my point that I feel like the globe, it keeps people from reaching God or a creator because people believe that we came from nothing. The Big Bang exploded from nothing right. and we evolved from monkeys and everything's just an accident and just, just be selfish and just don't give a damn about nobody, right? That's the yeah, lifestyle the they want us. Could make nothing. Well, exactly, yeah. but, but in reality, though I don't know if you know this, but the first law of thermodynamics says energy cannot be created nor destroyed. It can only transform from one form to another. So what that means is that it debunks the Big Bang because the Big Bang says everything came from nothing. Everything but would have to exist yeah, already, eternity. exactly. It so exactly. So we're part of eternity. We're part of infinity. Yeah, I think exactly. What you're doing is good because we we shouldn't just believe things blindly. Exactly. For one. Exactly. People but at, lie. But at the same yeah. time, there is a point where things require faith. Uh, but that's here's here's what. Uh, 
was the one that shared this. Right. She said, if, if I tried to add up facts forever before I married my wife, I would have never married her. Exactly. At some point in time, you I have, have to, to trust her. step of faith. Yeah, you have to trust her. And say that I'm making her, yeah. the right decision. Right, right. And, and that's based in, and that's why I like Frank Turek, too, if you've never heard of him. I, I don't think I've heard of him, but yeah. But um, he used to be a, uh, I think a police officer, but he, he looks at things from an um, investigative standpoint. Okay, yeah, I and like that. So yeah. um, you look at circumstantial evidence. And right. You get to exactly. a point where with a shadow of a doubt, you know, and, and the court of law uses this, right? Yeah, exactly, that's how exactly. We approach things because we can't necessarily... I love that. I love I'm out here trying to spare, you know, spread awareness about logic, common sense, physics, simple physics, you know, elementary so physics. What, what is your end goal? My end goal is, um, is just to spread awareness about, I, in my opinion, the biggest lie on Earth is what Earth actually is because, again, in reality, nobody actually knows what this place is. And that realization to me was so big that it just brought my curiosity back like when i was a child again wondering about this existence and what am i and so i'm kind of like i'm back at that state of mind again but now as an adult i'm using logic and common sense and i can see a lot of people trying to push an agenda basically trying to warp our common sense make us doubt our common sense and just obey and believe a certain authority right we live in a in a higher hierarchy structure right where you know we have we have hierarchy exactly i mean that's obvious you know it's and I'm just trying to dismantle that and actually maybe we can actually get to, to actually true equality and living like, you know, true, true freedom, basically. Are we on That's my go end goal at the end of the day. And, and eventually and, and also explore the Earth. To be honest, I'm very curious to what's at the North Pole. All compasses point north, right? All compasses point north. So I don't know if you knew, magnets are man-made. I don't know if you knew that. Magnets are not natural. So magnets are man-made. So if, ma if, magnets, if, 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 if magnets are man-made, what's causing the magnetic pull at the north now the, if you believe in the globe you're also going to believe what they tell you about what that's causing okay, which yeah. again so, so that ma magnets um basically the electrons are spinning the same direction in iron molecules that right that's magnets. that's the, the, the description about what a magnet is but my point is that they're man-made they're not natural you can't find a magnet in nature or, or like a rock and, it, and it's a natural magnet we, human beings we make okay. magnets so the fact that there's a magnetic pull at the north what's causing that that's that's a huge and it, it's, it's a lot of restrictions in the north too that's another thing you could look up there's uh, a lot of restriction areas restricted areas yeah if, if you were to die today right. where would you go uh, i don't know <laughs> that's a mystery i think i believe in reincarnation i personally don't have exterior beliefs either i know something or i don't but personal beliefs i guess you could call them about this experience and about the soul i i kind of lean towards reincarnation so I think we will come back maybe maybe even as an animal, maybe as another human, you know, basically we'll live again. As Do you have something to write, write on to take, take down a few names that we mentioned? Oh, hey. Yes, I am. You guys are curious? Yes. <laughs> okay, so I have two questions. So first of all, how, how open-minded would you say you guys are since you are honest and open-minded? Like a percentage? From one to ten, from one to ten. I'm oh, sorry. like a six. Seven. Yeah, okay, six, seven. Okay, so I actually have two very easy questions, and then we're gonna test to see how open minded and honest you are. So I have two images here, and the reason I call them images is because one of them is a painting and one of them is a photograph. Okay. So I wanna see if people could tell the difference between the real one and the fake one, right? Okay. So which one's the photograph? That one. This one? Which one do you think is a photograph? I don't know. You think this one's a photograph? Okay, so it was a trick question. They're actually both paintings. I had a feeling. Yeah. Oh, what? No, yeah, both people think they're both photographs, but it's, you know, they're, they're both actually paintings. both paintings. Oh. This is an oil painting, and this is a digital painting done on an iPad. So there's two reasons why I asked this question, you know. So one of them is if you just believe someone, that opens the door to being deceived, right? Because you believe me that one was a photograph that influenced your choice, right? Uh -huh. And the, uh, the second reason is if you want to prove something is real, an image is not good enough, right? Because images can be fake nowadays, especially um, with Photoshop, right, and, and CGI and all this, right? And especially if an image defies physics, right? If I showed you a, a picture of an elephant flying, would you believe that an elephant can fly? No, right? What if I showed you a video of an elephant flying? <laughs> and right it, 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 CGI right I mean yeah. that would defy physics right that's yeah. not reality right yeah. so we can't really trust that's my point so the second one it's actually very easy you guys know what water level means or oh, water finds its level you know how you know what that means <laughs> how would you describe the surface of the water like when you fill up a pool or like for example here like flat. flat right exactly horizontal will be the proper term because no matter how I tilt the bottle that it's always horizontal, meaning perpendicular to the vertical, right? Yeah. That's horizontal. So since we understand the physics of water and how, you know, what level means, 
Which ones of these two is correct, A or B? It's very easy, this one's not a trick question. A, a right? That's the obvious, A, <laughs> right? What if I was to tell you that over 95% of the population, even maybe including you guys, because I did too, believe the answer is B, even though we know it's A. And that's the reason why I'm out here. You guys wanna know why? Why? Do you guys believe the Earth is a ball? So the planet Earth, yeah. what we live on right now? So you guys believe it's a ball? So they tell us that the Earth has a circumference of 24,901 miles because NASA claims to go to space and have satellites orbiting the Earth, right? They claim to do so. Uh -huh. So they need to know the radius of orbit, which means they need to know the radius of the Earth. So these are the numbers they give us. So every mile, um, there should be an 8-inch drop. So by the second mile, it should be a 32-inch drop. By the third mile, there should be a 6-foot measurable dip. So if we go back to the charts, if we were actually build a level structure, like a platform over a giant lake across, we should be able to measure that water bending away from the curvature. So we should be able to measure that curvature physically. But we understand physics. Again, pictures can lie. You know, so if we understand physics, this will be the correct answer. So this will be the number one experiment to debunk the globe. So if I was to ask you guys, what's the number one proof that convinces you that the Earth is a globe? That's a, a photos. Photo, yeah. exactly. But again, I don't know if you knew, NASA calls them images. You want to know why? Why? Because they're not photographs. They're actually, they admit this. So you, this is not even something you have to figure out or even use common sense to figure out because they tell you that they're photoshopped. They admit to that. And the reason I think they admit to it is because of the, so they don't get sued in court. So they have to admit that they're photoshopped. So they actually admit they have an artist. Uh -huh. so they supposedly take strips of imagery from the sky uh -huh. and they have an artist literally photoshop it, put clouds in and basically paint, digital paint the globe for us. Uh -huh. But reality, physics shows us that, you know, that it's level. I don't know if you guys heard of the term sea level, yeah. right? How they measure height and depth from uh -huh. sea level, right? Level meaning horizontal. So that means the oceans are like a giant lake and the continents are like a container. And that's where I think the word continent comes in from a word container because it contains the water. Yeah, so is there anything else that maybe you can point me to or that convinces you besides photographs? Is there anything else like, I mean, if there's not, I mean, I, I understand, you know, if you, maybe because other people believe it, right? Consensus, yeah. that's another, you know, reason why a lot of people believe it. So another quick one, how would you guys describe the horizon? Because these are some images of the horizon, right? How would you describe the horizon? Where do you think the word horizon comes from? Oh. Exactly, right? Another thing about, about the horizon is no matter how high you go up, the horizon rises with you, meaning you're just able to see further in yeah. front of you, not below you. The horizon should drop in front of you the higher you go up. But if you ever go on an airplane or helicopter or, or a mountain, that horizon rises with you because it's just apparent. You're just seeing further. So the horizon is an apparent thing that happens in our eye. It's not a physical thing. But the globe tells us that the horizon is actually the curvature of the Earth. That's where things start to drop and curve away, right? That's what they say, that boats disappear over the curve. But it's just the limit of our eyesight. Again, the horizon is the limit of our eyesight. Meaning, again, you rise up, the horizon rises with you, you know? That's a fact, you know? So, actually, have you guys heard about people that don't believe in the globe, right? Flat Earth, right? That's, that's like my second one to say because most people don't know that. Yeah. But Flat Earth was actually a term that was propped up to be mocked. Because flat is not an exact description of the Earth because a, a, a soccer ball could be flat, right? Or you could have a flat piece of paper, but if it's at a slope, it's not level. It's not level. So the proper term for the Earth, that it's level. The Earth is demonstrably and measurably level, and the number one proof is water. So that's the number one proof. So the oceans, again, they're not bending around. That's what they have to show as a cartoon or a painting to convince us because it's not true. So I actually have some information if you guys are interested in actually looking into this you know, further because I'm not gonna convince you right now, I understand that. Yeah. It took me, I actually came across this six years ago oh, wow. and it even took me then like three months for it to like really sink in, like two, three months. And that's when it wasn't even being censored or ridiculed. So now it's being censored and the way they're doing it is through ridicule, dismissing it, don't take it serious, just talking, literally just talking shit about people that question the globe. They just call them all crazy flat earthers. You know, that's where yeah. the term comes in, right? Just so people don't look into it. So another thing is how they're demoting it, uh, they're censoring it, is demoting it. So if you go on Google or YouTube and try to search flat earth or globe lie, you're gonna get nothing but ridicule videos. So you yeah. won't get anyone like me actually talking about it serious with f showing physics, you know? And But um, yeah, here, let me just give you guys this and you guys can take a look. Um, do you guys have any questions? No, no. no? okay. I mean, nothing <laughs> that comes to hand to you. So here's one for you. And here's one for you. Um, there's a card in there. It might fall out. <laughs> Thank you. But um, yeah, there's a card in there as well. Um, I do conversations like this, you know, all the time with people in the public. So 
you guys could check it out. I also have some links on there if you guys, again, are interested in finding out. All right. Thank All right thanks a lot so for much. talking to me. Yeah, you guys have a good day. I'm not selling anything. I'm actually just sharing information. You want to give it a shot? I actually have two questions basically to test how open-minded people are. We want to give it a shot? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> you're, gonna call your, you're not that open-minded? Oh. <laughs> okay, so... Fairly, fairly, not everything. I mean, you would say from one to 10 over a five, right? At least, more than average, right? Very easy. Nobody's like 100%. Nobody, no. <laughs> okay, so... You wanna, I think it looks familiar. Yeah, you could, you could see. Can yeah. you see from there? No, I'm going to see. Okay, okay. So, real quick. Out of these two, uh -huh. um, one of them is a photograph and one of them is a painting. Which oh, one really? is a photograph and which one's a painting? I'd say that's a photograph, that's a painting. Right? Okay. Well, it's actually a trick question. They're both paintings. Oh. Right? So, this oh. is an oil painting and yeah. this is a digital painting done on right. a computer. Right. So, Basically, um, the re there's two reasons I asked this question, you know. Um, the reason. One's shiny and one's not. Right, right. No, so the reason I asked this question is because just believing someone right. opens the door to being deceived, right? Because you believe me that one of them was a photograph right. that, that influenced your choice, right? And the second reason is that when we want to, if we want to determine something is real, an image is not good enough. Because, you know, realistic paintings, you know, are now a thing and CGI and Photoshop, you know, oh, with computer yeah. graphics, right. you know, it's, anything could be fake. You can't believe, especially if it defies physics, right? If I showed you an image of an elephant flying, would you believe elephants can fly? No. Right, that defies, what if I showed you a video of that? Yeah. You wouldn't, would you believe elephants can fly? No, right? Because yeah. obviously yeah. videos and pictures can be fake, right? So the second one is elementary physics. So because it's physics, I can't lie to you about it. You know, right? So, well, it's very easy. It's how, so water, right? How will we describe? Okay, no problem, no problem. <laughs> okay, yeah. You're gonna roast down here. No, I'm actually okay right now. But uh, the surface of the water, how will we describe the surface? Because water always finds its level, right? Well, how will we describe that? Water find its level. I don't know. Could we say how geograph uh, geographically, geometrically, how will we describe the surface? Rolling. Could we say it's flat though, like oh, a pool, flat. like a pool oh, when you fill flat, it, when you flat. fill up a pool, right. the surface of the water, right? right. The correct term will be horizontal because no matter how I tilt the bottle, the water always finds its level. It always right. forms a horizontal plane on the surface in your cup, right? So since we understand, again, this is element. It, it, well, well, it takes the shape of the container, but the surface, yeah, but the surface always forms a plane, a horizontal plane. That's the point, like, you know, in your cup, in your bath, in the lake, right? So again, very easy. Since we understand the physics of water, which one is correct, A or B? What, what? Yes, that one. Right, this, this one represents level, right? right. Correctly, because oh, this yes, is, obviously, right? Yeah. So what if I was to tell you that over 95% of the population, uh -huh. maybe even including you, because I did too, uh -huh. believe the answer is B, even though we know it's, it's really A. That, right? No, no, the answer is oh. A, oh, but we, are, we were tricked to believe it was B. You wanna know why? Uh, you wanna know why? Do you, uh, do you believe the earth is a ball? Like a sphere? in outer space, yeah. right? That's yeah. what we were told, right? If I was to... Well, they show them pictures from space. Exactly, I was gonna ask you, what will be the number one proof that convinces you? Space. So it'll be yeah. photographs from space, right? But did you know that NASA actually calls those images? And you wanna know why they call them images? Yeah. Because they're not photographs. Okay. They're actually, they admit they're CGI. So they're basically right. digital paintings. Okay. So in other words, that image of the globe defies yeah. physics as we know it. Oh. And what we say if an image defies physics? then the, we have to abandon the image and right. go with physics. Right. So this will be the number one experiment to debunk the globe because right. if we were to actually go out and measure this curvature, because look, real quick, they tell us a certain dimension of the earth because right. so this, they're supposedly astronauts, right? And satellites going around the earth and right. orbiting. Right. So they need to know the radius of orbit, which means they need right. to know the radius of the earth. So these are the exact numbers they give us, right. which means by the third mile, they should be a six foot measurable drop. So in three miles, if we, if we build a level structure over a lake across, we should be able to measure that six foot drop. So if we start at five feet, at the end of that three miles, it should be 11 feet, because right. five plus six is, is 11. Right. But if we, under, again, we'll go to physics, if we actually built this structure, right. 
this is going to be the answer. The right. water is going to be parallel to the level structure because water is level, right. meaning horizontal, right. right? Other than images, is there anything else that can that, that you could point me to maybe, or maybe that you will see it myself. Well, going uh, up high, right? So you're saying. Oh right. Right. For, if I was to tell you. Um, the highest human beings have ever gone is actually only 20 miles. So when a lot of people oh, say, yeah, oh, you're right. not, not as far as we can, well, as they, far as the universe goes. Well, that's the right. thing. That's, that's where I was heading to. Everything about the sky, uh -huh. the stars and all that distance, it's all made up. So it, it, it's just the concept. Outer space, I don't know if you knew, it's a concept. And a concept is just a fancy word for an idea, which means someone's imagination. Right. So they're just using fancy words right. to kind of make us believe in, you know. So my point is that because the, over 95% of the population believe a lie, I'm just literally simply out here spreading awareness that the earth is actually not what we were told. And in reality, nobody really knows what the earth actually is other than the surface being level. So we don't know what this experience is. So you don't think it's round? Oh, no, 100%. I go with physics. I don't go with what people show me on this. Flat again, I don't think it's flat. It's, it's level because flat again, the earth has topography it has high points and low right. points valleys mountains right so it's level ultimately because the water shows us that uh, oceans are level have you heard of the term sea level yes. right that's how we measure height and depth right. it'll be impossible for those heights and depths to be on the same level right. if they're on a curve how will you measure depths and then be congruent with each other on a curve because it's not true because this is the re yeah but but what they do is everything is measured from a datum line and a datum line is horizontal. Datum lines are not curved. Right. Because then or every, every orientation will be different. Right. And reality is only one orientation. And that's how we build and construct, you know, in construction. So again, this is, it's literally very easy to understand. Again, every, everybody was fooled by the TV and yeah. pictures, CGI, right. paintings. And that's why I start with the yeah, first like question. Columbus, he it was flat. Or no, wait, some guy Some, some, it was, it was um, And they fall off. <laughs> so they, that, I would say that's a, a, a straw man argument about yeah. falling off the edge yeah. because that, again, water has to be contained, you know, and that's where I think the word... Uh, that's where the pressure of the earth, um, atmosphere keeps it in. No, no, no. Oh, no problem. You have a good one. You have a good one. You too.